When it comes to overall market share, Asus isn't a big hitter like, so for example, Apple or Samsung. However, that doesn't mean it makes bad phones. Today, we're going to be looking at the Asus Zenfone 6 and comparing it to the Google Pixel 4. If you ready, let's go. On the left hand side we have the Asus Zenfone 6 with the Snapdragon 855. On the right hand side we have the Google Pixel 4 also with the Snapdragon 855. Talking about market share probably the Pixel doesn't have a very big market share either. However, these are both very good phones in their own rights depending on what it is that you're looking for. These should be fairly evenly matched. Snapdragon 855 in both devices and they're both running using roughly the same screen resolution full HD plus. And as we're saying that who's in the lead a slight lead by the looks of it by the Zenfone 6 as it's the first now into the 16 thread test. Uh, the Snapdragon 855 is of course an octa-core processor so it should handle the 16 threads quite well. An interesting pattern developing there on the Asus, much straighter line going across there on the Pixel 4 as it handles those 16 threads. There were much more spikes there on the Zenfone. Both devices are now into the blur test which of course is the beginning of the mixed CPU and GPU section of this test and at the end of the test comes of course the GPU intensive stuff with the Unity test and because this is speed test G2 2.0 we have the unreal test as well and 18 frames a second there for the smoke particle test still the Zenfone 6 is in the lead as it's now gone into unity test 21 frames a second for the pixel 4 so that's a better gpu performance there by the pixel 4 will that have an effect now as we get to the last part of the race the uh, Zenfone 6 is already now coming down to the river it's going to turn right and head to the end of that valley but then we have the unreal test our walk through the forest so what's going to happen it's clearly in the lead as it's now started the unreal test as we start to move through that forest what's it from and the pixel 4 is now catching up it's now into the forest so who's going to get to the end of the path first who's going to be the overall winner will it be the zenfone 6 or will it be the pixel 4 let's find out it's going to happen any moment now we're going to see what happens there we go it's the zenfone 6 1 minute 47.2 and there we have the pixel 4 just a fraction later 1 minute 51.1 Okay, let's break down those scores and see what happened. So the Asus Zenfone 6 won there with 1 minute 47.2. And then a few seconds later, the Pixel 4 came in with 1 minute 51.1. So what happened? Well, look at the CPU times. We can see the Zenfone 6 had a huge lead. 41.7 compared to 47.9 so really well done there when it comes to the cpu part by the uh, zenfone 6 but then we get to the mixed cpu gpu that's the blur test and the infinite scrolling test and the smoke particle test the pixel 4 was able to gain some ground it didn't quite win but it's 27.1 versus 27.5 so 0.4 of a second difference but then when we get into the gpu test everything is reversed 38.3 for the zenfone 6 and 35.6 for the Pixel 4, so the Pixel 4 was able to catch up, but not quite enough. In the end, the Zenfone 6 still won with a time of 147.2. My name is Gary Sims, this is Speed Test G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please do consider sticking around by hitting that subscribe button. Also give this video a like if you enjoyed watching it. Also don't forget that there is a Twitter account, Speed Test under bar G. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.